Hey, what's up, Papa? What's spina bifida? Spina bifida? Okay, so spina bifida is an abnormality in the way that the baby's nervous system develops. It's usually, according to the textbook, it's, it happens because of a lack of folic acid or folate in the, in, the, in the diet of the mom. And so folate or folic acid helps with the maintenance of the nervous system. And so when the mom doesn't have that in her diet, then the baby's nervous system doesn't develop well. And spina bifida occulta is where the vertebrae of the lower vertebrae usually it can happen anywhere along the spinal cord but one of the vertebrae is missing so it's not protecting the spinal cord so if you have any type of trauma it can potentiate damage and you'll have some type of neurological deficits right this requires um surgical correction either either in utero or when the baby's born and the baby might have some neurological deficits paralysis hypo uh some type of lack of sensation to some degree there will be some deficit um, you can't really know by looking at it because the skin is still intact, but you'll have some tuft hair or taft hair. Again, I forget if it's tuft or taft, but my point is you'll have like some long hair in the location along the vertebrae where the patient has the spinal bifida occulta. The second type or the second degree as it gets worse is called a meningocele. And a meningocele is when, same thing, the vertebrae is missing, but now you have the skin that it's extended outward in like a little sack of fluid and the little cerebral spinal fluid is uh, trapped in there. This is problematic because if it pops or any fecal matter gets in there, you may develop an infection. And that also requires surgery and that type of um, spina bifida we call meningocele, it could potentiate a more serious uh, deficit, meaning the patient will most likely develop some degree of paralysis or some type of neurological issue because the spinal cord is uh, exposed and you have to be careful on to not getting it dirty so if the baby has a, a bowel movement you have to ensure that it stays clean because you can develop sepsis the third type and the worst type is a myelomeningocele myelomeningocele is when you have that sack of cerebral spinal fluid anywhere along the vertebral uh, spine but now the spinal cord is tangled in there that kid will most definitely have some type of deficit usually paralysis and statistically speaking people that have spina bifida occulta meningocele or a myelomeningocele may also develop um, hydrocephalus um, and that's just a statistical not a coincidence but it's likely to happen as well because of the shifts in fluids and the pressure on the spinal cord which is really delicate um, but that's spina bifida occulta, meningocele, myelomeningocele. They all require surgical correction and the kids will have some type of uh, deficit.